Today we're going to do some resolution testing on the Canon T3i. I've selected a subject that has a lot of detail and I'm going to shoot it both horizontally and vertically. Uh, the resolution is only one way and show the difference between the uh, crop mode and the non-crop mode in terms of resolution. The resolution testing I'm talking about is what the resolution differences are between the standard mode, which is what you're seeing now, and the 3x crop mode, which is essentially uh, taking a 1920 by 1080 section of the sensor. It's approximately 3x. On the T3i, uh, it's uh, more like 2.7x. It's not actually a 3x crop. Um, there are only three cameras that Canon makes four cameras that Canon makes that do this. Uh, this camera, the T3i, can, the Canon 70D uh, also has a 3x crop mode and the Canon Digital Rebel T6s has the 3x crop mode. Additionally, the Canon 1DC, the uh, cinema camera, has a Super 35 mode, but that's a full frame camera uh, so when it's cropping it's actually getting a, a you know chunk out of the sensor the size of a super 35 sensor uh, but at, at any rate the reason for the 3x crop mode um, is because you know most DSLRs with the exception of the 5d mark 3 and the 1dc um, without fail are if you are shooting something where you have a really deep depth of field everything's in focus like you're shooting outside during the day at ISO 100 1 one hundredth of a second and f16 or 1 50th of a second and an f22 where everything is in focus um, you suffer badly from more and uh, aliasing issues particularly when it comes to things that are man-made where there are, are patterns and what have you and so uh, the 5d mark 3 doesn't really suffer from this neither does the 1dc but every other dslr that canon makes suffers from this because the sensors are such high resolution that they basically do pixel binning and horizontal stair step and and, uh, and uh, line skipping to get the resolution down to something that they can manage by the processors internally. Now, one of the things I suspect, particularly on the Digital Rebel series, actually on all of Canon's cameras, uh, is the horizontal resolution. They're grabbing, they're basically sampling the entire frame width and then just and doing pixel skipping and then they're scaling that video to 1920 by 1080. I suspect that's what's happening. So off the sensor, they're getting a, a 5180 or 5184 by a 1080 picture. They're basically sampling the entire horizontal and then line skipping until they get 1080 lines out of the, out of the middle part of the sensor. Um, you know they're getting the full width but they're 16 by 9 aspect ratio whatever that would be and that's what they're sampling uh, and then that gets scaled down into the video that produces a lot of moraine aliasing but what it results in is ex superior horizontal resolution on an HD picture and so that's the testing I'm gonna do I'm gonna do some comparisons I've got some really uh, high detail things that I can shoot uh, to test this between horizontal and vertical resolution and compare between the um, full sensor and the 3x crop mode. So let's get started. This is the 3x crop mode ISO 800 f56 160th of a second. This is the standard shooting mode, ISO 800, f5.6, and 1 50th of a second, zoomed in uh, to get the equivalent field of view and equivalent exposure between non-cropped and cropped between the two different focal lengths that you have to have to get it. So the cropped version was at 18 millimeters, the non-cropped version to get the same camera position and field of view is just over 50 millimeters on uh, the zoom lens. 
This is the 3X crop mode. ISO 800, 1 60th of a second, F56. This is the non cropped version, uh, ISO 800, 1 50th of a second, F56 zoomed in to get the equivalent field of view as the 3x or 2.7x cropped version and uh, uh, same exposure again this is with the 18 to 135 lens uh, at f56 the 3x crop was at 18 millimeters the uh, non-cropped is just over 50 the 50 millimeter mark it's zoomed in to get the same field of view all right looking at these two uh, uh, samples horizontal and vertical between the 3x crop mode in video and the standard mode in video it's clear that the standard mode is actually resolving more detail than the 3x crop mode at first I thought it was because the 3x crop mode was really really was sampling doing a 3x which comes out to like 1728 by something uh, and scaling that up to 1920 by 1080 but what it's looking like is it's the effect of the uh, the line skipping and um, sampling the full resolution horizontal resolution and then uh, just doing the line skipping to get the until you get the 1080 and then that you end up with a picture that's you know 5180 by you know some amount and then that gets scaled to 1920 by 1080. I suspect that's what's going on because there is more horizontal resolution not as much as I would have expected but there is more horizontal resolution in standard mode than the 3x crop mode the real shocking surpriser for me was there's significantly more vertical resolution in the standard mode than there is in the 3x crop mode unfortunately that does mean that there is more a and aliasing uh, you can even see that in the standard mode oriented both ways uh, the wood grain does show quite a bit of more in aliasing but it is resolving in terms of actual detail it is resolving more detail so uh, I'm quite surprised at the results of that that's not gonna stop me from shooting 3x crop mode because it is getting a native 1920 by 1080 the resolution is the equivalent of having like a uh, Canon HFM 500 or something like that that has a native 1920 by 1080 full HD sensor um, you know it's still not bad resolution it's still actually very high resolution but uh, it's not nearly as much as the oversampled and oversampled you know this I'm using quotes here uh, resolution that you get in standard mode because it's not truly I don't think it's truly doing a uh, 5180 oversample I think it might be still be doing some pixel binning like a 2x pixel bin which gives you like a 2.5 ish K uh, horizontal and between that and the line skipping it that's probably what's happening so at any rate um, quite interesting uh, I'd be curious to see uh, well I mean it's it's just interesting um, I you know it's like I said it's not going to affect what how I use the camera whenever I need to do uh, you know a daylight shot where I'm you know have really deep depth of field and of uh, focus where it's like f11 f16 you know f22 um, I always go into the 3x crop mode or if I end up you know where I have a shot where I just it's awful more in aliasing I'll go into the 3x crop mode and throw on a really super wide lens if I need to have a relatively wide field of view um, at any rate interesting experiment pretty good to see uh, how it all works out